vitalizing fraud and bribery, trampling other competitors down. This was John Rockefeller's way of creating the Standard Oil Company. Negotiating with major railroads for shipping rates and purchasing a license to operate in the state of Pennsylvania granted Rockefeller so much power that oil men felt justified likening it to an octopus. The company was an illegal way to create power and wealth. It used dishonest methods and was unfair. Someone who saw the true nature of this company and the ways that it affected her family was a woman named Ida Tarbell. Ida Tarbell grew up in northwestern Pennsylvania. Her father, Frank Tarbell, was an oil producer and refiner. When the hidden agreement between the railroads and refiners led by Rockefeller came out, it hit her family hard. And after witnessing the struggle her father took on, Ida wrote about the Rockefeller's monopoly. When working for Muckler's magazine, Ida got the idea to write about the Standard Oil from President Roosevelt's campaign to expose corruption in business and political lawlessness. She exposed Rockefeller's ways on building his major company and writing a 19-part series in the magazine that later became a book on the oil trust. Controversy spread because she exposed brutal tactics and methods by the company, and people started to realize that Rockefeller was the dominating commercial man. By exposing Rockefeller's great monopoly, Tarbell encouraged the government to react by creating the Sherman Antitrust Act. This act required the U.S. federal government to investigate and pursue trusts, companies, and organizations suspected of violating the act. Later, the government created a better act, called the Clayton Antitrust Act. This act, enacted in the United States to add further substance to the U.S. antitrust law regime by seeking to prevent anti-competitive practices in their existence. It specified particular prohibited conduct, the three-level enforcement scheme, the exemptions, and the remedial measures. One after another, people were starting to understand how bad Rockefeller's monopoly was becoming, all thanks to Artis Harbaugh.